Hi everyone, in this video tutorial I will be creating a generic confirmation dialog box in uh, Angular. So as I have this example where I have one dialog box where I'm saying you know some title, some body text and we have a yes no kind of um, uh, dialog box. Then there's another dialog box with another title, some other body text. But now we have a third button, cancel, which is like a neutral button. And then we have one more. Uh, with uh, again separate title, separate body tag, but now we have save or cancel, and then finally, I have another one with a checkout or check in. So all of these dialog boxes have one thing in common: there is a positive button, which is the yes, uh, save or checkout, I guess. And then we have a negative button. The negative button is no, as you can see, cancel, or a neutral button like cancel in this case. So now let's jump into VS Code and see how we can accomplish this. Okay, so what I have here is VS Code with a pretty blank Angular app. What you need to install is Bootstrap CSS only and ng Bootstrap. So you don't want to install the full Bootstrap because it comes with its own JavaScript jQuery and that's, that can mess up with the Angular powered Bootstrap. So let's do that first. So I'm just going to go into my terminal and we will say uh, npm install, we will say bootstrap dash CSS only and we will say latest. So this is going to install the bootstrap CSS only, we'll just give it some time. Alright with that done, I'll clear the console and then we need to install this uh, ng bootstrap so I mean the command is right there we'll just uh, type it I guess okay so with that installed success I'm just gonna clear this over here what I'll do now is uh, just head over into the component I'll close this here and I'll just go into app component.html and let's create a button this is just to make sure that bootstrap has loaded primary and I'll say test I'll save it I need to run uh, my server so I'll just come over here and I'll say LPM start All right with that done we'll just come over here 4200 and there you go so we have a blank app with a test button so that's good alright so I'll get rid of this and what we'll do is well no what I'll do is I'll just say call it launch this show dialog so when we press this button this, this is gonna show our dialogs and what I'll do is I'll hook up a click listener and I'll say show dialog alright so I'm gonna save this now I'm gonna head over into my app component script file and we'll just come over here and write our function which was show dialog right and let's just write something to console we will just say hello world no app is complete without hello world let me tell you that right, so I'll save that and it's complaining about the thing we'll say yes all right so i'm just going to come here hit f12 hit the button Woohoo! we get hello world yes we're done okay so that's working fine so we need what we need first is our um service so let's create is i'll say ng generate service and what can we will create this in our its own folder so we will just say uh dialogue service we don't want to create any tests so we'll say true and boom done so let's get over into that so what we need to do is we need to create a function here that we can call and we will call it open dialog and let's make sure that we can come here so I'll say inside the service All right so now we need to inject this service into our component so I'll come here and create a constructor 
and we don't need this and what I need is my service so the service was dialog service so I'll say dialog service and this is of type dialog service dialog well it's called a service service yeah that yeah don't do that I, cr I call the service and then angular add service to it at the end so yeah that's kind of bad anyway so here what I'll do then is in show dialog I'll say this dot this dot dialog service dot open dialog this is gonna call that that function and let's just make this happy alright and make this happy so it's gonna call this and we should see it print uh, inside the service once uh, I once I hit the show dialog button so if I hit this, it's calling the inside service. So we're coming inside the service. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create our dialog component that will actually show the actual dialog. So I'll come here, I'll say ng generate component and we'll say dialog. And let's skip tests for this also. We don't want any tests. And let's define it in the main app. Alright, so that it do its thing. So there you go. So you got your dialog. You got your dialog component here. I think I'm thinking we should move the service over here because uh, you know it makes more sense. So yeah, we broke all the links. So do you want to update? We'll say yes. Let's close this. So I'm gonna save this so that this gets fixed. Let's make sure this runs. So I'll just come here, hit of twelve. Okay, it still works. That's good. I'll just keep this open. Okay, so now that we are in the dialog component, we need uh, we need to show this somehow. So what we can do is I'll come over here and I'll just go to the menu and I'll come over here to do 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 model. I mean I don't want to type this code. I'll just grab it from here. Whoa! I'll just grab this code. The model header. I'll take that and then what I need is the model body I need the model body and then I need the footer I'll take the footer that's all you need from it yep we're done this will actually have a title of profile update so what we'll do is we will just say title and let's see I don't need none of that so I did the do, do, do we'll get rid of that. I don't need that. I don't need that. So I'll get rid of that. I'll just say instead uh dialog dialog body, right? And then we have a button at the at the bottom, that's fine, we'll leave that for now. I'll just hit save. So currently it's not gonna show the dialog because we're not telling it to. So for that what we need is we need to inject this uh, ngb model ngb model if I can spell, there you go and then what you do is you will say this dot okay so we'll say this dot you know what I should name it small say n makes more sense so we'll say this dot ngb model dot open and what do we want to open well we want to open our uh, component we call it dialog component and let's give it some properties so we're going to give it a size of medium I guess and we will give it a backdrop of static we'll give it that black uh, black drop backdrop okay so I'm gonna save that Let's uh, save all of that and if I hit, ooh, we're showing our dialog. So currently if I hit this, it's showing me this error because we're not handling all these buttons. We'll fix that. That's no problem. So I'll just X out of that. Of course it's going to error out again because we're not handling those. So what we need to do is this guy needs to return a promise. So we will say promise, promise, right? And what we can do is we can get a reference. So 
So we'll say model ref. So this is our reference to our model. And then we will just say return model ref dot result. So this result is actually a promise which will be returned back to whoever is calling. So we need to go back into our component and actually do something like this. Then we say that then so this will be our result. So for starters we will just log the result. Right? And let's handle the rejection because otherwise it's going to be upset. So that's good enough for rejection. So let's save this and let's see if things work well now. So if I show it, it shows and it's still showing error. Let's see why. All right, can I read broad dismiss of undefined? All right, so let's see why. So inside here, we have a model dot dismiss, right? So you need to inject into your dialog component this model active model service if I come here then what I need is I can say public model and let's say active ngb active model that's what you need right I'm gonna hit save and let's so show this again and no error right so over here it's actually trying to reference the active model so you need to inject that into your dialog component which we did over here and you need to make it public so that it's accessible within the template file that's all we did alright so now with that done let's start with the title so this should be configurable the body should be configurable so we're gonna do that and that's easy to do in angular so that's first and then let's go over the body so we'll say body so these will be these are template reference variables, so they'll be passed from the <coughs> excuse me. So they'll be passed from the actual uh, component, which is right here. So what I'll do is I'll just define this here, and I'll say public title. We'll just set it to null, and then say public body. We'll just set that to null, right? All right. So these are defined here, and these will be passed into this component from the service. So let's do that. So we will do what we will say is we will say set dialog properties properties we'll say props it's an object and for start we will say this type title this dot title is equal to props dot title otherwise just no we'll just say no title right and I'm just gonna duplicate this line and we'll say no body and we'll say body all right so we'll say body okay so let's fa let's pass this first and see if this works so I'm just gonna go back to my service and the way you can do this is you can just say model ref dot component instance dot and then you're just gonna call that function set dialog props right so is that what we call it set dialog props let's just call it props that's better it's more cool I'll just copy this function name and I'll just paste it over here there you go so these properties will pass in by whoever is calling the service so we are just gonna say props any and then we're just gonna pass them over into our component or dialog component and do 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 with that done I'm going to go back to my component and this is now it's complaining already because it's looking for that argument so let's define that first I'm just going to break this out and what I can do is I can define my object and I can say uh, demo title and then for the body I'll say this is somebody text right uh, so let's do that fix that okay so I'm gonna save this so if everything went well we should see our title and we should see our this is some body text and we're not seeing that here oh you know what it is here but it's very faint oh that's because the the color of this is actually the background is white the font is white that's all right so model dash header model 
model dash body and we will say color let's just say black we'll save that if I show now yay so I'm getting my demo title I'm getting my text which is good so that's working well so now we need to work on these buttons so the way these buttons will be passed in will be something like this so we're just going to start with our objects so we will just say like this um, you can create an array you can create another object so I'll say buttons right and this will be another object and we will say positive positive will be yes and negative will be no so let's create two buttons for now and let's see if they actually show up in our um, component so the service is just going to pass it over I'm going to X this out because I don't need this actually I'm just going to close the service we don't need it anymore so now uh, inside here we need to check for these buttons right Alright, so I have my buttons defined here. Let's save this, make sure no errors. I'm going to save this. Let's show the dialog again. Right, so currently it has the save button, which is probably with the code. So we'll, what we'll do is we will actually uh, just use. is one right so that's that so I'm just gonna go back to my component and define this function which was on action taken right and this gets an object which is the action action and we need to return this back to whoever called us and we will say this dot active this dot model sorry model that we just close it and then you just stringify this thing and you pass the action it's that simple so basically when this guy when this closes it's gonna go back into the service it's gonna go back into the service and it's gonna go back into the result into the component and we should see it printed here so let's take this for a test drive and it's not showing us this so let's see why all right so um oh yes so it's in an object button so we need to do that all right so we need to say props dot buttons don't forget your objects people so i need to do that all right let's see yes okay so i'm passing in two buttons yes and no and they are showing up here so let's say I press yes it closes the dialog and I get positive I'm gonna show it again and I was saying negative how cool is that I can come here and maybe change these to let's say success I'll make this um, danger and we will call this dark so there you go you got these nice buttons now the beauty of this is I can come over here I'll save this so I have my three buttons so this one shows the yes no this one shows the oh this one's not showing that so let's see why am I calling this am I calling this correctly I uh, will figure this out so if I, oh I didn't save it that's why alrighty there you go so now it's showing the yes it's showing the no it's showing the cancel right let's go to the third button
right so let's do that and there you go so you're getting install and then you I'll have the link to the actual code on github which you can get it uh, from this video alright so that'll be it for now